So how did we cast all over this begin? I remember very vividly, John just came up to me and said, Anna, would you, would you fancy doing some youth work? Um, and it had already been on my heart for a little bit of time, but I thought, yeah, I would really love to do that. Um, is it's not going to be for a while, we're just putting out the feelers and seeing if the team can come together. And then, hey presto, if you Jamie came to our church on a Sunday morning, Jamie came to us and asked if he said that the Lord had spoke to him and thought that we at Cass could do with a, a youth group going and as our church has been for a long time with no youth in it, you could see that the youth had nothing to do and hang around the square and do nothing so we welcomed it in. Starting the process was what Limitless was really good at in giving us a structure and giving us a format. So Jamie came in with his with his plan, with his ideas, with this encouragement and really setting out a culture that you want to continue that it has um, longevity, not just something that's a one-off here. And I think that's what really helped us was the support that he could a, go to school, set up all the social media accounts, have the time to meet with people outside. Um, of a Wednesday night when we run our youth group in order to make those links and connections which ultimately bring the youth in but also not just that but make the community aware that the church is doing something uh, to serve the practical needs of the community. First night was pretty amazing really because uh, I think we had eight because I was on the desk while doing people in and um, a lot of the parents were really chuffed that we'd opened up a youth group. The one young person that we have who lives local and their parents, they, they say that um, he counts the days before he actually, the next week. Well, I think it's been a really positive um, Fitting in, especially from what I hear from the work in the, the local school as part of um, Limitless Reading Castle, it's been really well received. And I think it's just broken down some barriers between the community and the church to show that it is accessible, but it is also for the community. It's it's back in the community. It wants to build the community up, and you can see like threads of that coming through from different conversations with um, some of the parents and carers who come through the door.